Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be checking out Dave and Buster's inside the Natick Mall located in Natick, Massachusetts. Dave and Buster's is such a fun place to go. If you've never been to one before, they are a national chain, um, but it is a ginormous arcade and restaurant combination. Really, really fun place to go for all ages. Um, if you ever went to Chuck E. Cheese when you were a kid, this is like Chuck E. Cheese on steroids. And it's definitely marketed more to adults. So if you still are a kid at heart and you want to play some really fun arcade games like you did when you were a kid, this is the place to come. I absolutely love that it's also a restaurant combination because um, it makes for a whole outing. You can eat, you can get a drink or whatever you want to do and then play some games. Or you can just play some games. You don't have to eat. But if you do want to eat, like I said, they have a whole restaurant, a bar, everything. They come, they wait on you. Um, the food was pretty good. My, our family ate here. I'm gonna show you guys the menu right here. Feel free to pause the video so that you can um, check out the prices as I show you the menu options. So here's what we ended up getting. One of my kids got the pizza, the kids pizza meal. My dad ended up getting a chicken sandwich. My husband got a burger. My daughter got a burger kids meal. My other daughter got a chicken fingers kids meal. And then I got the chicken cantina nachos, which was an appetizer, but I got it as my meal. And that is everything that we got for food. And it was all very good, hot, fresh. The taste was great. After we finished eating, we went over here um, to the little machine where you can load up your card. So of course, no arcades really do tokens anymore. Everything is digital. So you can load your money onto this little card that's about the size of like a credit card. Um, and that is where all of your tokens are going to be. That is also where all of your tickets are going to be. They do not print out tickets anymore. All of the tickets are digitally uploaded onto this card and you don't even have to swipe the cards at any of the games. You just tap it up against the little um, card reader that is attached to each of the games. And each of the games, um, to play them, it took a different amount of um, points or tokens. So you, you kind of had to look at each of them um, and see how many it took to play that game. Um, but we got, like, I think we spent like $80. And now it was my three kids, my husband, myself, and my dad. And we all played. Like, even us adults took turns playing. So we all split about $80 worth. And, I mean, we were playing games for well over an hour um, these games are some of them are quick but some of them you know can take several minutes you know up to 10 minutes or whatever but they had a huge selection of different arcade games and a really nice variety of different kinds of games of course they had like your classic shooting and gun games they had your classic like spin the wheel type games they had a lot of arcade games that i had never even seen before um, and then of course they had some classics pac-man skee-ball which is my personal favorite um, and things like that but i walked around and try to do a quick video clip of every single game at this Dave and Buster's location so that you guys could see exactly which games they have to offer. Now I'm not sure how often you know they update games or add in new games but as of today <laughs> these are all of the games that this Dave and Buster's location has to offer. Um, so I'm just gonna let this video play so you guys can see all of the different arcade games.
like I said, Dave and Buster's is definitely a family friendly place and you'll see people of all ages. However, I will say that the games are definitely geared more towards like upper elementary age and older. They don't have a lot of games that would be good for like toddlers or preschoolers. My youngest child is five and she still had a great time and enjoyed playing a lot of the things. I did see some families there that had like really younger kids. And of course, I mean, kids are kids. They're going to have fun doing it and playing it. But if you have toddlers or preschoolers um, and you're wanting this to be like a family outing, then I would probably recommend Chuck E. Cheese just because that's more, you know, in their age range. But if you have upper elementary, um, teenagers, preteens, this is the perfect family activity. And I really like Dave and Buster's because, you know, here in Massachusetts, in the New England area, there's a good chunk of the year where it is the weather is nasty outside and we can't get outside and do things. And I'm always trying to think of, you know, fun activities indoors that my family can do. And this is a great option for those cold winter months or in the summer. If it's too hot to even be outside and enjoy it, it'll be nice and air conditioned and cool in here in the summer um, or even like a rainy day and you don't wanna be stuck at home. Um, this is just a really great option to have as something fun to do. And of course, it's also nice because you determine how much money you wanna spend. You determine how long you wanna be here. It is very flexible and customizable, which is awesome. Okay guys, I'm gonna let the music play while you guys continue to get this tour of all of the different games that they have to offer here at the Natick Dave & Buster's location. Towards the end of this video, I'll be showing you guys the um, game, the gift shop room where you can turn in your tokens to get a prize. So um, that will be at the end of this video to look forward to.
crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping the love we found There's something about you, something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better, nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better Guess I'm just too scared to settle down There'd be many nights I got too high and almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better
Okay, so once you are done playing all the games and you want to go trade in your tickets for a prize, you go right over here to the little gift shop um, and you just swipe your card right here or tap your card and it will show you how many tickets you have. And then this gift shop was actually huge. They had so many different options in a wide variety of, um, you know, ticket amounts. So, you know, there were some big items that if you had hit a jackpot and you had a lot of tickets, you could get some cool stuff. Um, you know, the variety for a smaller amount of tickets, it was a little bit slimmer, but I still felt like they had a pretty good variety. Now, this is just my personal opinion, but I feel like all arcades like this, it's kind of a rip off because, you know, you pay all this money to play all these games and then you get stuff at the end that honestly you could probably get like a dollar store or five below or something like that but i mean like i said they did have some cool options for if you really had a lot of tickets we didn't have that many but of course we just came to have fun um, but my kids were able to pick out a few little prizes and of course they thought that that was fun and they had a blast but yeah there was a lot of options in this arcade um, gift shop and i thought that it was very well stocked with a wide variety of options after we picked out our little prizes from the gift shop, we were ready to go. Um, I did see a sign by the door as we were getting ready to leave. And I did want to mention this, that this Dave and Buster's location is autism welcoming, which means that they have received like additional training and support to be an autism friendly and welcoming business. So that is great if you have, you know, a child that's on the autism spectrum and you're wanting to find places that are supportive of that this is a great option. I think that they do special um, times or events um, throughout the week or maybe once a month or something where they make it a little bit more sensory friendly. So that's definitely something to look into and a great option. I was glad that I saw that sign by the door. But this pretty much wraps up our video today. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of all of the games at the Natick Dave and Busters. Let me know in the comments, have you been here or have you been to a different Dave and Busters and what do you think about it? We had a lot of fun. Thanks for watching you guys. I appreciate you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.